New NDA balance playtest is finally out chat and we have it right here. We're going to be reviewing it together. Let's see what's changing to Albion Online. Let's see what changes are coming uh, very, very soon in Albion Online. This has been uploaded 48 minutes ago. Next balance patch, we keep improving less use items and abilities and toning down some abilities that are frustrating to play against or are too dominant in specific content types and also some quality of life improvements. Man, the quality of life improvements, it's always something good to hear. It's always something good to hear. All these changes are still in testing and, might, and may vastly differ in the final patch. Yes, you gotta keep that in mind. This is very much just a testing period. A ton of things can actually change. Let's see this. Arcane Staff the arcane orb from all arcane staff improve the spell logic the purge down triggers before the silence give me a second i don't think that's from all the arcane staffs i think the arcane orb is from this one yeah this is from um yeah i think they messed that up i think they messed that up or did i misread that no it's all arcane staffs okay no th they mean the one-handed arcane staff so the one-handed arcane staff the purge now triggers before the silence pretty interesting i hope i don't push the silence that's the only thing i can think of i like genuinely i hope i don't push the silence greetings my fellow viewers fret not for i'm mogdan's trusty hat and i come bearing good news if you enjoy watching my master's content on youtube then you will be pleased to know that it's all recorded live on twitch by joining us on twitch you'll not only get a sneak peek of upcoming videos but also have the opportunity to win giveaways and drops and just hang out with a lively and amazing community so come on over and join us now we're most likely live at this very moment click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to join us bows the enchanted quiver from the normal bow this is the e from the normal bow the attack damage increase goes from 240 percent to 220 percent that's a well needed nerf and the magic arrow from Werbow. The size of the projectile hitbox has been increased slightly. So it's going to be easier to play. Basically, they're trying to push people into playing Warbow instead of the normal bow, which is a very good idea because that's actually a weapon that requires some skill. It's great. Crossbows, the explosive bolt from all the crossbows. The stand time is going to go from 0.3 seconds to 0.2 seconds, which means that you're going to be able to use it on the fly and the projectile speed will travel faster. Pretty, pretty nice buff. And the vicious barrage from the... Or barrage? I'm not sure how you call that from the siege bow the siege bow e instead of percentage damage based on max hp the percentage damage of current age oh wow it's a percentage of the damage of the current hp meaning that players that have the most hp are going to take the most damage and players that have the least hp are going to take the least damage because let's say you have a thousand hp if it's 10 percent of the hp you're going to deal 100 damage per second but if you have 100 hp then you only deal 10 damage per second if you have 10 hp then you only deal one damage per second and so on and so forth it's going to be really interesting to see how this actually plays out in zvz it kind of feels like a nerf it kind of feels like a nerf. At the same time, the Siege Bow has been a staple in CVZs, so maybe it kind of needed a nerf? I don't know, let me know what you think about this. Maces, the battle howl from the heavy mace. The cooldown is getting increased, and it's uh, it's get the logic of the spell is getting improved. The purge now triggers before the silence. So it's basically the same thing as the arcane plus a cooldown nerf. Swords, the iron wheel from all the swords. So this is the last W from all the swords. The energy cost is going to go from 9 energy to 10% energy. This is interesting. And the cooldown of parry strike goes from 18 seconds to 16 seconds. So a nerf in terms of iron wheel, but it's not the biggest nerf if you ask me. And a buff in terms of parry strike. Quarter staffs. I'm very curious to see about this. Okay, no, there's nothing important. Just the black monk staff. We're still not going to use it, SBI. Forget about it. Let me see. Remove the slow and breaks any shields every time it deals... What? Breaks any shields every time it deals... How does this spell work right now? Wait, give me a second. Isn't that the definition of OP? Black Monk Staff, this right here. So what do you do? Throw a demonic version of your weapon at the target. It, it slows the enemies. It reduces all damage. And it... This is pretty strong. Oh man, that is pretty strong. It no longer slows though, but this this is really strong for CVZs. Imagine dumping this on a clump, like straight up. Imagine just dumping this on a clump. Wow, all right, all right. It is impressive. All right, let's look at spears. The impaler from all spears. The heat delays goes from 0.4 seconds to 0.3. Nice, a 25% buff. Stand time goes from 0.8 to 0.6. That's very nice. Actually nice. Impaler is going to become much stronger, which is great. If it also would got a 
cooldown reduction that would be overpowered. But I guess it's a good thing that they're not making it overpowered, just stronger. And the Heron Spear, the spell that was buffed in the last patch, changed the projectile hitbox to make it less likely to hit players behind the cap. So you are saying, SBI, that this hits behind? <laughs> like, why would this hit behind? Okay, I need to, I need to, uh, skeptics, let me, let me duel you for a second. I want, I, I gotta see this. Why can't I duel you? Duel set wager. I gotta see this. Just, just don't move for a second. I want to see if I can actually hit you behind. So I'm right here. Perfect. So let's see this. I'm throwing this way. Okay, I didn't hit you. But I guess sometimes it does hit, which is kind of funny. <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's a good thing they fixed that. Helmets! The block from Soldier Helmet has a longer channel duration, meaning a longer iframe, which is actually great. The Judicator Helmet, they fixed the bug where it would trigger higher diminishing returns than intended. Oh, that's great. Retaliate from the Hunter Hood. And the last nail in the coffin of Hunter Hood has just been struck. The duration of the buff goes from 4 seconds to 3 seconds and don't forget, the Reflect went from 100% to 85%. Rest in peace, Hunter Hood. I mean, not necessarily rest in peace, right? Let me clarify. It's gonna be harder to hit. You are actually gonna have to pay attention to your opponent, which is great, more items should be like that. Stone skill from all played helmets, this is the second skill that you get. The cooldown goes from 45 seconds to 30 seconds, the buff duration from 7 seconds to 4 seconds. I guess they just wanted to make sure that really nobody uses that, alright, you got it SBI. Lifesteal aura from Hellion Jacket, check this out. Steals now only 50% of the damage dealt from mobs. I'm so happy. I'm nah, this is the best change. I'm so happy about this. Okay, let me explain this change. So, if you go in the mist and you see players with Hellion Jacket and you start fighting them, what's gonna happen is this. Let's say you win the fight, you almost kill them, they start running. They run like madmans, but they don't fully disengage. You look at them, you start wondering, why is this guy not fully disengaging? And you're soon finding out why. Because the guy is looking for a patch of mobs, a pack of mobs, basically. He goes in the middle of it, he puts his lifesteal aura from the Hellion Jacket on him, and he heals back to full. Like, genuinely, it's back to full. It's such a strong heal that it's actually insane. It's actually insane. So yeah, I'm very happy that uh, this uh, changed. I'm very happy that this changed. Actually, really happy. Let's uh, let's look further. So we have um, we have the Dusk Weaver boots. The cooldown is going from 20 seconds to 25 seconds. Don't worry, SBI. Nobody's using that. Uh, the cloth sandals, energetic sprint from all cloth sandals, is getting a nerf. Dead giver players. If the last few nerfs didn't absolutely murder you, well, this one will. Dodge from all boots. The cooldown is going from 25 seconds to 20 seconds. Okay, cursed half players, be aware, you're next. Rejuvenating sprint from all plate boots. Okay, so this is the most used ability in the game. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I just want to show you this. This is... Like, at this point, Albion could just be called Plate Boots Online. I'ma be honest. It's no longer Albion Online. Just look at it. In Slayers, it's different. Not by much, as you can see right here, but it's different. But look in Stalkers. This is the Stalkers meta. Plate Boots, Plate Boots, Plate Boots, Plate Boots, Plate Boots, Plate Boots. Alien Shoes. Oh, look, Mog is an exception. No, it's not. This is Black Hands, a weapon that was removed. Plate Boots, Hunter Shoes. Oh, that's great, man. If only the build would work. Plate Boots, Plate Oh, look. So the first build that actually works without plate boots is this right here, which is basically a copycat version of this build right here. And it's all the way down. I'm sorting based on usages, by the way. So yeah, this is... Um, I'm actually curious, what if I sort based on the win rate? How far down do we have to go? So plate, 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 plate. <laughs> Plate, what is going on? Cloth sandals. Okay. So about just as far. About just as far. All right. It's a great change. It's a great change. So the rejuvenating sprint, the heal per tick is going from 18, uh, 18 to 14.4. Right now, the total heal is 72. After this change is up, the total heal will be 57. So boys, let me sum it up. Cloth sandals are not good. Plate boots are not good. Hunter shoes it is. Cooldown reduction it is, man. Alright. 
Let's go on uh, miscellaneous changes. Cooldown on spell change. Are you guys seeing this? Cooldown on spell change from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. This is actually huge. It's just on spell change. It doesn't say anything about item changes. But this is actually amazing. This is actually amazing, amazing, amazing. I, yeah, I thought it would have come in patch patch 10 as well. Yeah, they did have it in patch 10, but they removed it. So yeah, this is really good. This is going to be great for the game. I'm curious if it's only on spell change, which is what they specifically say over here. Or if they made a mistake kind of like this one. And they actually mean that it's going to be on item changes as well, like whenever you swap, whatever. It's a good change regardless. Adjusted the minimum duration of a toggle before it can be cancelled. Adjusted the minimum duration of a toggle before it can be cancelled. Thank you. Thank you. So if I spam, I don't cancel my abilities. I really appreciate that. that that's actually good. I'm a spammy, a spammy player. I press my keys at least twice or three times. So this is actually a great change for me. Adjusted the minimum duration of a channel before it can be cancelled. Oh, a channel. Okay, a channel before it can be cancelled. That's also amazing. From 0.3 seconds to 0.75. That's actually really good. The crystal match uh, uh, is getting a reduction in duration by one minute. All right, that's great. And check this out. Nightfall Abbey. The Blessing of Compassion. This is the red buff. The red buff in the Nightfall Abbey. The one stack heal is gonna go from 14% to 10%. The one stack heal over time is gonna go from 7% to 5%. And the scaling per stack is gonna remain uh, for the instant heal unchanged. And for the heal over time is getting cut in half. Wow. I mean, to be fair, it was the best buff. So it's actually a great, great thing that um, we have this. Actually, It's actually a great thing that we have this. Boys, overall, I'm excited about this. There's just some things that I'm very, very, very curious to see how they're gonna play out. First of all, I'm curious to see how Impaler would play out and if it's actually going to become more used in 1v1 PvP like Corrupted Dungeons. I don't think it will, but uh, it's an interesting idea. Second of all, I'm really curious to see how this is going to affect the current meta, which by the way, the uh, one hand, the normal bow, not the one-handed bow, sorry. The normal bow is very much the meta, appearing one, two, three, three times in the top 10. Appearing three times in the top 10. So yeah, it's very much a broken weapon. And I'm also curious to see how Werbo is going to play out after this. Furthermore, I am insanely curious how this is going to play out. I think this single-handedly is the most exciting change. I'm very, very, very curious to see how this is going to play out. Now, what about you guys? What are you most excited about? Please feel free to let me know. I'm actually curious about this. I'm actually really curious about this. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown. We decided to finally launch Patreon after seeing so many people willing to help us out. So if you want to help us out, if you want to support our content, please consider joining our Patreons by accessing the link in the description down below. It truly helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We love you.